Hi right, everyone. Well, today I'm at a uh, Andover Park, and uh, there's a fishing lake over there. It's an old farmland here. Let's have a look. And here is a cute, there you go, Kikini Valley Trails here. There you go. That's where I am today. This is where I'm going to start. And uh, I'll cross the road and head towards the trail I want to hit today. So thank you for joining me today on another adventure tour. <clears throat> My plan is to hike all the way to 206. So I usually park down on the 206 area. But I'm gonna start here today. There used to be houses here, farms. They were torn down when the park took over here. Very nice place to have a picnic as you can see here. Not busy. <clears throat> There's the road. Yeah. Hey, we'll go through here. <clears throat> this trail should lead me right onto the the uh, Sus Experience Trail. Look at this tree. Look at the animals that live in there. <laughs> so I was gonna park way down there. I thought, eh, I'll just park here. This is not gonna come out here anyway. So I'll start here instead. There's some dummies got their loud radio on over there. Jeez. Breaks the beautiful silent. And uh, there we are. Sussex Branch Trail. So I'm going to hike down to 206 instead of parking there today. This was on my list of video tours today. So I'm excited about doing this one. Okay, here we are. The old railroad bed, Sussex Branch. It's so annoying when people turn their radios on that loud. And banging noise. They come out in the forest. You'd think they'd want to get away from all that rotten noise and just enjoy the peaceful scenery instead. Nope, they don't. They bring their crap with them. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right, here we are. Look at that wall there. All natural cut there. That's a whole farmland wall there. This trail is beautiful. Look how nice and smooth it is. Been a few years since I was on this trail. I was last time I was on it. I did it with my sister. 
Before that was with my my dad on a bicycle. So, see if things changed here today. Well, I really like the moss-covered rocks. They're beautiful. Oh, trails all through here. I don't know how many miles I'm going to be hiking today and exploring this area. <laughs> probably three to five miles probably today. I'm just guessing though. So if you're joining me today on this video tour, you Appreciate it, and uh, as I always say, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Helps me grow this channel and make it popular. And I'll be doing lots of other new videos, so I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, like. Have any comments? Let me know. Thank you for joining me today here. Listen to that pot of the woodpecker pecking in there. You can't see him, but you can hear him pecking away. <clears throat> Rest of the week they say rain. So I thought I'd just squeeze another one in today. This week I probably did one a day. Three to mile, three to that's a three to five mile hike tour each day this week. So I don't know when's the next time I'll be out. So I grabbed our trail map here. This is the area I'm in today. You want to check it out? These trails. This is. Probably a great map to take a look at here. And this is the area. Piccanini Valley State Park. Alright, we're over by the the uh, lakes there, you know. Let's see what we can find. See what we can find here, see what we can see. It's usually really Beautiful, cool wildlife in all through here. Well, who knows? Each day is different. Oh, I can't believe how smooth this trail is here. It's amazing. Uh, we got to take a look out there, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, just a spot we can get out there to look. I see a turtle on something out there. It's too far away for this camera to pick it up. <laughs> Turtles are starting to come up in the warm sun now. I don't know if you can see my camera, that's a turtle right there. There's a beaver hut way over there. Very peaceful. Look at that. Swamp lands on both sides. Beautiful here. I see another couple more beaver huts way out there. Look at that. Filled with beavers out there. Well, it's a pretty far drive from my house to here, but it's 
looks like it's worth it today cold windy day almost the end of March it's like a February day out here look at that beautiful marshland here look at that Very peaceful and quiet here now. There's an interpreted sign here. Arrowhead. Yes, they're beautiful. Yeah, just a quick brief history. I don't know if I mentioned it yet today. I'm uh, hiking on the, an old railroad bed. That was the uh, Lackawanna Railroad. It was called the Sussex Branch. And they had pasture service almost right up to the end. I think they pulled this out. Ceased operation in 1967, 1968, somewhere around there. I know some people that, that uh, rode the, the train route through group here. They said it was a very scenic ride just to hop on the passenger train and go through this whole beautiful area. Can you imagine what it must have been like? Just go out for a day and go for a ride in the train through the country. See all this. I see some wildlife out there. This is ducks. Oh, I've always beautiful there. Look at that. Beautiful swamplands, marshlands. Interpreting, sorry. I bush blueberries. And that's what I grow. Very interesting little subject here about blueberries. New Jersey currently ranks second behind Michigan in high bush blueberry production. Huh. Interesting. In my area, blueberries grow really good because of the soil, the acidy soil content. Alright. I don't see anything out there. some trails you can find here
One of these trails leads to a waterfalls in the dam. I wonder if this is it. I wonder. I bet you it is. Let's just look. It must be. Let's take a look. Yeah, I do remember the gravel road. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Oh wow, look at that big beaver hunt out there. Wow. Quiet maybe I'll scare away all the geese and ducks. There's a spot you can enjoy sitting all day, it's so beautiful here. Noisy geese. <laughs> Looks like the beaver were busy here. Oh. <clears throat> this is a funny beaver. They make the dams and they make it <clears throat> in every area they know the water flows through so you can dam it up. This is funny. This always was curious. It just, it's a trail that just ends here. It don't go nowhere. And I always, I remember doing this once, but I'll look again. This don't go nowhere. You think it would, but it don't. <clears throat> it just like ends right here. That's it. That's as far as it goes. You cannot get around it. Nowhere. That time my shoe was with the camera stand. Yeah. Yeah, you don't go nowhere. Excellent fishing spot though. We'll come back. Take a look out again on the way back. <laughs> There's no wheelbarrow in there. Old, old wheelbarrow. People with the dog go by first.
swampy area I think just around the corner is Route 206 where I'm going to end my tour here and head back Some more trails. Let's just see this a minute. That's a loop. <laughs> a lot of neat trails in here. I have the time to explore them all. Okay, this is our destination coming up. I usually park at this parking lot down here. I did it different today. Because this parking lot fills up real fast. There's usually not any parking. <clears throat> Firewood for sale. This is it. See the sign that says Route 206 right there. Now the trail goes miles down there way more. This is as far as I'm going. Alright, head back. Liberty Water Gap Loop Trail. What Liberty Water Gap Trail? Yeah. I try to find that. They're trying to make that a full trail, but it's almost impossible to find. Some pictures. None of these pictures 
belong onto this railroad I'm on here. And these trains never existed on this track. And this right here, if you can find out in the Poland Skill Trail, SEC 12 and 13 is where the section gains split up their work. And that was on the Susquehanna branch. <clears throat> Not many people know what that means. But the fellow I used to know, he used to work on the railroad when he was young. Who died at 106 years old. He used to tell me that was what it was for. And he numbered that. That's why it's on there. <laughs> he knew that. That looks like a train track that used to go in that way. Must maybe a Y or something for the railroad. Okay, heading back to the car. Oh yeah, behind me, if you continue on this trail, it goes all the way down to Waterloo Village where this trail actually ends. The railroad don't end, but uh, it's not passable after that. But you can head all the way down to Waterloo Village. I've done that many times on my bicycle. There must be a lot of bicycle traffic on this section because it's so smooth and so flat, rolled down. A lot of traffic probably on here. Take a look back here again.
Oh, let's just sit a moment here. That's a low seat, though. A ton of shoelace. Of course. Always had a ton of shoelace. Very nice. Okay. Trying to get cloudy. I guess the storms are starting to blow in for this weekend. those people with the dogs. Hope they got it unleashed good. Looks like that lady couldn't handle the dog good. Want me to wait till you go past? What's that? Oh, you want me to wait till you go past? I'm sorry, huh? I said, you want me to wait till you go past? I don't know. She's not getting hurt. Oh, okay. All right. She's, uh, she's right. Okay. <laughs> she's having problems. <laughs> I think they should switch dogs. The lady should be taking the other dog and that guy should take the one. <laughs> the dog was overpowering the lady. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. That's probably the loop that I saw coming in here. And it comes out right there. Anything neat out there again? I got probably won't because the dog scared everything away. No, I don't see nothing. Definitely not anything out there now. All right. Oh, there's a swan way down there, but you know you can't see it with this camera. <laughs> way down there.
Look at this. I think that's blueberries. I think that's blueberries growing there. Yes, that is. Look at that. This is blueberry bushes right here, it looks like. That's something neat. It's a beaver out there. Probably lots of fish. There's a big lake behind me called Cranberry Lake and that was always the tourist attraction and then a popular popular place years ago during the heyday this railroad <clears throat> people used to come up from the city and go to Cranberry Lake for to cool off from the heat of the city or stay there during the summer that's a vacation area There was a big train station there at one time. <laughs> Although I read that the Railroad was torn out in <clears throat> late 1960s. The tracks were still in place yet. Over by Cranberry Lake in the 1970s. Still there yet. Now I read that. I'm not <clears throat> uh, sure, but that's what I read. Because uh, I guess they had 
never got around to removing the rails or I still thought they could be used for some reason. And that's possibly why this is so smooth here. I don't know. <clears throat> But, you know, like I said, there's probably a lot of foot and foot and bicycle traffic going through here all the time, too. Alright, we're in a cut here. Now, I just want to point out something neat here. You see this whole area, how it's all... It looks like it was dug out here. Railroads, when they were building the railroad, they actually used areas that they... Uh, took the rocks and, and dirt from to fill in and I bet you this is where they took a lot of it out to build this railroad to fill it in they took it out there and dumped it here see that look at that <clears throat> you often see that along railroads old railroad beds like this that was probably all dug out of there and they used that for fill here because I'm actually on a small fill here it's about three to ten feet high here to fill that I'm walking on so that's probably where they one of the places they got the fill from dig it out and throw it here Imagine that all hand digging and pick picking shovel. Oh man. No machinery. I wonder why this is so smooth it overlooks this. What's the reason? It's just a drain ditch. I see no reason. Who knows? That's amazing, a whole rock wall face there. Look at that. Huge. Sussex, Sussex Branch Trail and head back to the car and when we get back to the car I just want to walk down to that lake back there so I'll take a look at that yeah all right so here we are Sussex Branch Trail leaving it today and back to the car
see what is that bird there. I was going down there, but there's a lot of people walking down there. This is the driveway to an old farm house. Oh, they must have had a beautiful place here one time. There's the sidewalk that went to it. Can you imagine? Beautiful place they must have lived here. And the old lake here back here we're gonna go to right now. There's an old barn here. Let's take a look at that. I don't mean that, that's not a barn. <laughs> this right here. This was a cornfield here. I'm guessing, I think I remember the cornfield here one time. Look at that. Let's see here. There you go. Plus that the old barn. Alright, let's go down to the lake. And this is the, the boat launch right here. I kayaked all around here. Not much. So I did it. It was neat. Now I saw an interpreter sign down here. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> Yeah, there's some sign down here. I haven't been back here at all. Wow, swampy marshland here. Pretty neat. Let's see what this says. Common cattail. 
I was called these punks when I was a kid. <laughs> cattail. No, look nothing like a cattail. I don't know where do you even get that from. Don't look like a cattail. All right. I have no idea where this is going, but I'm walking it. It looks very swampy and wet. This looks like another vault launch of some type here. And a beer dam. What is this place I just discovered here? What are we walking on here? What is this? I never was here. Where does this go? Where did I... What did I discover here? I don't think I was ever here. Oh, I bet this would be beautiful. I hang around during the, the evening and see the bird life and wildlife come to, coming up to feed in this area. Okay, what do we see here now? Wool grass. Huh. <clears throat> that looks like a dam here. It is. Huh. I never knew this was here. It just ends here. Just like the other one back where it was. It's neat. You have to send here. You know, this is like a spot where you could just take a chair and sit here all day and look at the wildlife and everything coming around you. Beautiful. Look at that. I never was back here. Never, ever back here. Did you know this is here? <clears throat> and they mow it, so it's some type of maintenance trail. I wonder if I should go further. I wonder how far it goes. Where does it come out to? Or is it just in here? Look at that. This is a whole farm field here. That's where I'm walking on here. And this is the walking trail right here. Interesting. <clears throat> I just uh, veered off the trail a little bit because I discovered, you know, I'm still on this old farm property and I discovered an old dump here from 
probably the form. And uh, looking at stuff here. Yeah, this, this looks, this is an old chicken feed or some type here. And an old bicycle of some type. This stuff was probably here for years. Years and years. And you know it's all because there's no plastic here. Just bottles and cans. And usually every farm has their own little dump that they dispose of in an area. So yeah, I thought that'd be interesting. I'm sure I got everything to back up this trail here. I was gonna video that, but I thought, eh, maybe everybody would like to see that. At the edge of the farm property. They had their own little dumping area. <coughs> That's probably a century old. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what this might come out. This trail yet. Probably come out to the parking lot where my car is. But I want to see. All right. This is a whole farm field here. Just a field walk here. And watch the ticky sticks. They're always around. When you come to the sparrow, it's like this. There could be full ticks in this area. This farm looks like it had probably five acres here. Not much bigger in my place, probably. What adjoining acres, probably like my place. Okay, so this is going right back to the parking lot. That's that was pretty neat to see. Worth a little uh, exploring detour here. <clears throat> so this trail runs the whole uh, out, 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 what do you call it, outskirt of the whole old farm here. That's where this trail is. <clears throat> like that. You can see it, and it's heading back to the parking lot. So there is my car in the distance. A pretty neat trail here. Excellent birds, jewelry trail. Wildlife. Okay, so heading back to the car. That looks like about it for today, everybody. On this exploring hike at Kikini State Park up Norway, up in northern New Jersey. Hope you like this video tour today with me. And please stop by again for more videos. 
and I uh, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button everybody if you are a subscriber already I thank you so much for subscribing and hit that like button and share hit the notification button if you have any comments let me know all right buddy I'll say goodbye for now and stop by again and as, I finish, as I finish this last part of this tour here today Let's just get to the sign and I'll say goodbye. <clears throat> okay, that's it. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.